Well, this month I've had three things go bad. First, my auto AC, then my washer broke, and now my Windows 7 computer. I need a hug. All right, welcome back. Total OS today, total operating systems today. Well, speaking of operating systems, this is, uh, this is a historic event for me at least for Windows 7. For the first time in six years or so using Windows 7, I have found a bug or I have found something that I give up. I can't fix it and I don't think I am the only one. Let me show you this real quick. I took some screenshots. This is my desktop, my older desktop that I use for testing that I had in storage. I've been trying to download a Windows 7 service pack. Now I need this I believe, according to Microsoft, I need this to get my free upgrade uh, to Windows 10. I want Windows 10 because testing it, uh, testing Windows 10 in a virtual machine runs really not too bad, but I wanted to install it fully at full speed and all that good stuff. But I need this service pack, KB976932, uh, Windows 7 service pack. When I need this, this is the last thing I need to install to qualify for the upgrade to Windows 10. Um, after doing this for, trying to figure out for a couple days, I thought to myself, you know what, Toss, what are you doing? Um, just go ahead and delete it or reinstall the original uh, service pack or the original Windows 7 operating system that is, since I have a separate partition with a clean, bug-free, malware-free, fresh, install of Windows 7 and I really should have done this from the beginning to be quite honest. Anyway, I was able to install uh, all of the updates. Uh, the, you can't maybe not see this but there's 92 updates installed. But the one that needs installed for me to get my hard-earned Windows 10 upgrade, that upgrade, that update will not install even after a clean install and a fresh install of all the updates Windows 7 Service Pack 1 will not install. I gave up so as far as that machine goes it runs fine uh, I don't personally I don't really need an extra uh, set of update service pack to keep my machine maintained and malware free malware you know what guys I've been running Windows and Linux for a long time now it used to be that my number one reason to run Linux is security I can't say that cannot say that anymore my number one reason to run Linux is less maintenance than Windows. I don't have a problem with security in Windows anymore. I just don't. I, I seem to know I seem to know what I'm doing. At least I think so. But the maintenance and the update process in Windows, I'm just gonna tell you after going through this and I can't fix the problem in Windows, it sucks. Compared to Linux, it sucks. Now everything works in Windows the way I want to. It works all the time. Can't really say that for Linux. But the update process, yeah, I, uh, I need a six pack.